This is Alex, a parrot who was part of an experiment about language in birds. He achieved basic communication and could answer simple questions. But one day, something extraordinary happened. He saw in a mirror his own gray feathers, a color unknown to him, and said, what color? Alex became like that, the first and only non-human to ever ask a question. <laughs> it's incredible, just think about it. He was demonstrating his desire for knowledge. Besides, here we can see that the question is actually more important than the answer. And this is something that has happened many times in science, leading to new realms of scientific thought. The theory of special relativity, complex the uh, numbers, probability, and many other branches arose from questions that might not seem so important at first. For instance, a great mathematician, Henri Poincaré, studied a question that's especially intriguing to me. What's the shape of a rotating planet? Planets are spherical, right? But surely you've heard that the Earth flattens at the poles. That's because our planet is spinning, so the equator travels faster, making it push outward. So our sphere gets flatter, the faster it spins. But could it be as flat as we want? Well, it turned out it can't. Because if it spun very fast, it would be so big and thin that it would become unstable, and any disturbance will cause it to collapse. After collapsing, it will take on a new shape, an ellipsoid, some sort of rugby ball. Interestingly, there exists a dwarf planet called Haumea that spins fast enough to have this shape. Now, if this uh, planet spin, uh, began to spin even faster, this rugby ball will stretch. And again, at a certain speed, it would be so long that it become unstable and will abruptly collapse. This time, the shape it would have is even stranger, that of a bullet. This is the answer Poincaré was looking for, but the question gave us much more. Over the years, it led to new branches of mathematics. One of these is the catastrophe theory. It was developed by another great mathematician, René Thom, when he wondered about the mathematics that explain why and how biological structures end up having the shape they have, like cells, organs, Alex feathers. He realized that during these formation processes, abrupt changes were taking place. Catastrophe the like, the, like the ones for the planets. Catastrophe theory appears in physics, in biology, in economy, even at your breakfast. Because if you put a mug under the light, you can see that there is this lit up section called caustic. We can see that there is an abrupt change in illumination, and this is a true catastrophe. And the same happens at the bottom of a swimming pool. All these are caustics. So you can see that catastrophes are everywhere, surrounding us. So be on the alert for them. In fact, if you are alert enough, the next time someone asks you a question, you might not only respond it, but also open a new branch of knowledge. That being said, do you have any questions?